Hello, yes, I'm calling about a couple cars you have. Yes, that's correct. Do you know what type of location they're coming out of? Are they coming out of auction? Dealership to dealership. Okay. Um, does it say uh, their pickup hours for the dealership they're coming from? No, they open on Saturday. Saturday nine to nine. No, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. All right. Perfect. I could get those picked up tomorrow and get them delivered on Monday. Kendall K E N D A L L Enterprises. Yeah, it's three one two five zero seven four. Uh, tomorrow. Monday. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yep. No problem. All right. Have a great day. Alrighty, so we got two cars booked. I'll show you here. Um, they are paying. I don't want to exit this because it'll exit the camera real quick. Um, Four fifty on two hundred miles. I will pick those up tomorrow and deliver on Monday. I want to get preloaded for Monday so I can hit the hit the week running. Um, they are just two cars, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find. Um, find one more to go down with it kind of coming from the same area these pick up in Pennsylvania Mechanicsburg PA their dealer to dealer delivers in Charlottesville Virginia so it's a good um, Charlottesville is about three hours from my house so it's a good distance to get down for uh, uh, for Monday morning so I'm gonna try to find something out of Mechanicsburg or Mannheim that goes the same way and then we'll work on booking cars for our way back up so um, Lewis from Lou Mel Luxury Transport just called me, so I'm going to give him a call back, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Oh, thanks for hanging up on me. Hey Adam, calling about a vehicle on Central Dispatch. Two five eight zero two two six. What's that? Uh, this one is not available. Okay, all right. Just like it's still on Central Dispatch. Yeah, I'm taking it off right now. Sorry all right, thank that. you. Take care. <sighs> How convenient. On to the next one. All right, so I'm booking these cars, and I know where I, where I, the, the general area I want to be is between like uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. Fredericksburg or Richmond 
So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to set myself up to get the highest paying load coming back north, which I need to know where I need to deliver last at and be empty at. So if I'm going to be empty in Charlottesville, where am I going to pick up down there? Or if I'm in Fredericksburg, Richmond, which is probably the best bet, um, I'll uh, set myself up to be empty over there so I can head back north. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason and I am a car hauler or fake car hauler as some people would say. But anyways, so we are sitting here at CarMax, which we're going to start tuning in this video with. Um, so if you like this kind of content, don't uh, forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. You guys have been killing it lately and I do appreciate it. Uh, so we're sitting here at a CarMax, as you can see. And uh, we're waiting for two cars. We're waiting for a Kia Forte and a uh, Honda Civic. It's a store transfer. So we'll pick up at one CarMax store and take to another. Now, I will have to give CarMax a huge shout out on how easy they make this process. Um, so each CarMax is different, whether it's going to have... Um, see the gate right there? Straight ahead right there? I had to go in through there and there's an inventory control where all those bay doors are that's called inventory control they handle um looks like they're doing detailing in there but they handle all the inbound and outbound cars for carmax so they actually have somebody that specializes in doing this for them so it makes the process really easy so this place you go through that gate and walk into the office some of these carmax locations will actually have like uh i can't see it but they'll have like a flip up like barrier uh, so they can drive in and out because they have to scan the cars in and out and there'll be a phone there you just pick up the phone and then it'll ring into them and they'll come out uh, but I just walked in there told them what uh what store they were going to and if the broker does everything right they're already in their list they hit create BOL they already know what cars I'm getting where they're going so makes the process pretty easy so shout out to them for that uh, we're gonna hop out here. Uh, they said they would bring them out, so we're just gonna hop out here, get our ramp set up, and uh, if they're not out by then, just hop back in the truck and stay warm. All right, first one's a nice little clean Civic. Not gonna lie, this thing is pretty clean on the outside. What's inside like? Oh, not bad. Not bad for 119,000 miles. So sometimes this will take a little while uh, to get all your paperwork, because this is actually like the titles. If it's a store transfer, you gotta get the titles and everything and put in the car. Sometimes it can take them about 10, 15 minutes to have all that ready. But let's get this pulled up on the trailer. Uh, we're gonna put this one all the way up top and then put the Kia at the back. And then we'll pull the key up once we get to the uh, other location where we're picking up our third car. Boom, all the way up top. Right, you break. This window up. There's one. Wonder if we can, uh, since we're up top here, wonder if we can see in and see where our other car is back there. See if they haven't pulled out yet. And make sure we get our inspection pictures here. Make sure there's no damage on this thing. get the roof sure get the windshield 
real important to get the roof and the windshield on these things because any little nick or scratch or rock chip they'll try to blame you for just because it's going down the going down the road on a truck let alone you know the hundred thousand miles it's car's been on the road they'll try to blame you for it so let's get this one pulled up got a, got one strap on the civic so he brought this one out pretty quick while we pulled that one up there Got those two loaded up got about an hour drive to our next pickup and then head home have these ready to deliver first thing on monday morning so we can come right out of the gate with 750 bucks before lunchtime on monday on uh about 200 and less than 250 miles so over three dollars a mile for these cars I really get tired of this GoPro not working. Uh, if any of you use any of the other action cams, like uh, the Inst what is it, the Insta360 or the Osmo Pocket, let me know in the comments down below how you like those. I love the size of this GoPro, being able to whip it out real quick instead of like carrying around my big camera all the time. But every time I go to turn it on, um, especially with the media mod on, I have to take the case off to pull the battery out and put it back in so it works. And it's just, it, it gets annoying to be honest. Um, so, um, question for you guys that are already haulers out there. I have, well, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I have a, which is going to be my first over dimensional load. And some of you might be like, Jason, you haul cars, what over dimensional load are you gonna have? I'm headed to Minnesota with a tiny home trailer. The broker is telling me it's 10 foot wide. And, um, which is, which is fine. If it's over dimensional, it's over dimensional, but, um, couldn't really give me any more information than it's 10 foot wide. There's no home on it. It's just the trailer, just the base of the trailer. Um, I think it's a triple axle bumper pool. You might ask why I'm hauling that to Minnesota. Well, I need to get out to Minnesota to Elko New Market to pick up a brand new Sundowner horse trailer for a longtime friend of mine. Um, played sports with him growing up, and it's for his sister actually. So I need to get out there. So I found I've been searching for power only loads to get out there, and this trailer came up on Central, and it's 32 foot long and 10 foot wide so i'm gonna go i'm gonna the place is by Mannheim, pa where they make these trailers and where it picks up from so i'll probably be out that way at least sometime this week so my plan is to swing by measure this thing and see if it's really 10 foot wide and uh maybe ask some questions with the manufacturer about uh you know, or see, you ask the manufacturer, I can see the actual trailer they're shipping if it's complete. Because uh, it's supposed to be ready for pickup on the 24th, 24th to the 26th, which is perfect for me because then I can get out to Minnesota early next week. But if it is over dimensional, I think it's five states I got to get permits through, which isn't a big deal. The rate's there, the rate is great, but I just can't see it being 10 foot wide. So if any of you guys have any experience with those tiny home trailers, just the trailer, not no home or anything on it, being over eight foot six wide, let me know in the comments down below and uh, see what we get ourselves into. But sometimes you gotta do stuff you're not comfortable with and uh, you know, it's not that I'm, uh, I think I phrased that wrong. It's not that I'm not comfortable with it. It's just uh, a different experience and uh, you know, could turn into something pretty good because the rate on this is stellar for what it is. I think it says like 3,500 pound trailer, bumper pool, nothing on it. So yeah, the miles per gallon I'll be getting and the, you know, the ease of pulling it, uh, you know, be a good connection to have. So let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna stop yapping. Oh, I forgot to mention my $12 sunglasses from the gas station. I'm getting headaches from freaking the sun reflecting off the snow. Here's our other pickup. So we're gonna pull the 
we'll pull the uh, the Forte forward and then we'll put this on the back it's the 07 Toyota Sequoia all headed down to Virginia from Pennsylvania be a hell of a fire or an accident going on. I don't know if you can hear those sirens off in the distance. That's the way we got to go though. But anyways, Sequoia. I got to grab two more straps for this Forte. Just put my ramps away. Honda strap down. Oh, it's cold out here today, boys. Nice guys made me a cup of coffee. I love nice dealers. Let's get on the road. Oh, let's get this Kia strapped the rest of the way down. I'm gonna check the hood on that Sequoia and then we're on the road.